But this next segment may take something that seems really <laughs> difficult, and you say you're going to make it easier. It is very simple. Very Executive simple. chef Jay Lister from Ava is here with how they keep it simple when cooking, and how we can as well. I don't know that you're what? saying this is simple. simple. The stuff that you brought this morning. Well, I believe is. you though. It is, and like you know, one thing I want to go over is really is time management. Okay, well let's get you okay. started. What are we it looks like everything. Okay, ready. so today we are doing octopus with prawns and potatoes. Now, octopus and potatoes is very classic Italian. It goes, I mean, they've been doing it for so long, and it's just a great pairing. So, what we have here is we have an octopus. This is a Portuguese octopus, and this is about a four to five pounder, which I think is the best size, because anything over that, when they start getting really big, they start to get a little, little tough. We're gonna poach this in some wine and water. Red wine, okay? Okay. And we're gonna add some aromatics to this, okay? Let's, what we're gonna do is, after you get this to a boil, add your aromatics. Let that go for a little bit, and then you're slowly going to poach your octopus. It's going to cook for about 45 minutes, so it's nice and tender, and then you shock it and cool it. So we're going to go ahead and add some salt. Now, can you get the peppercorns? Portuguese. You, can you get Portuguese. this at like seafood stores? You can, <laughs> and you know, believe it or not, most of the places these days, if they don't have it, if you ask the guy behind the counter, they can special order for okay. it. Okay. 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 So we have some thyme, peppercorn, salt, whole garlic cloves, and some red pepper flakes. Now here's the last one, here's the most important part, is the cork. What? You add the cork, after you put the bottle of wine here, add the cork. Now there's a natural enzyme inside this cork that actually helps tenderize the octopus. So, Are there any there. other dishes, I'm not yeah. going to lie, probably not going to be an octopus in my house. Any other dishes though we can put the cork in? Because uh, I love this idea. Well I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's, if, you're, if you're trying to tenderize something and trying to cook it for a long no period of time, you go for it. So what you want to do is, when you add the octopus, you want to kind of dunk it a few, don't get scared over there. All right, you want to dunk it a few times to kind of curl the tips. So that prevents it from the tentacles curling up on, these, on themselves, okay? Okay. <laughs> Get nervous over there, so we're going to dunk I'm it. See how it starts to curl up? I'm first for the morning blend. All right, I don't so even now know we're going to let that go in there, <laughs> swirl them around, and that's that. So we're going to let that go for about 45 minutes, okay. and after that, we're going to pierce it with a knife to make sure it's tender. Once it's tender, <gasps> we're going to remove it, and we're going to shock it and let it cool down. Okay. In the meantime, though. In the meantime, this is time management. So while that's cooking, you can make your sauce. Now the sauce, once it's cooked, that's why you can do this now. Once it's cooked, it can sit and cool down and come to room temperature. Let the flavors kind of come together. Okay. So we're gonna start with some onions. Turn this up just a little bit more. Some onions. Oops, let me get this. We've got some fennel and some garlic. I know you wanted to touch on before we run out of time to the importance of fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. I mean, it's it's key. You know, I'm the kind of guy like when I do cook at home, I like to. I don't keep stuff in the fridge all day long. I just go yeah. to the store every time I want something. That way, I don't waste the food. So this is going to cook for a little while. And okay. once this kind of cooks down and caramelizes, we're going to add some saffron. And then we're going to add a little bit of paprika. Let that cook. And as that starts to cook down and cook down, we're going to add some tomatoes. Now these are just whole tomatoes. We're going to crush these and add these in there. And as this, you're going to let this go for about 30 minutes on a low heat, kind of caramelizing. And then as that cooks down, keeps continuing to cook down, what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit more olive oil because you kind of want that olive oil to kind of spread out the sauce. So we'll add a little bit more of that. And like I said, this is going to slowly cook down. And then we're going to add a little bit of a sherry vinegar. Okay. And that's for the acidity. And about a minute left. Just okay. to keep okay. you so in on what we're doing. As that cooks time. down, we're going to go over here. And this is what it's going to look like afterwards. Magic of TV. So as, yeah, as this is going, we're going to add, gonna ask when we're gonna add our baby. prawn. This is okay. a big prawn. So we make sure you season this with some salt and some pepper. That All thing right. is massive. Okay. It's huge. So how to clean this octopus is you take is the head. Is this what it looks like once this it's This one looks like out? after it's done. Yep. Okay. You want to come right across the top, take the head off. Oh, gosh. And then there's a beak inside here. So you just take your finger and just push that little beak right out. There's ah, it done. Okay. So we're going to cut that down. To be honest, it's actually pretty clean to do. Like it's it is. not a it's, very it's messy, not, it's I not, mean, it's for not. seafood, that's actually not bad. So we're going to add all this in there, and we're going to throw this in there, and we're going to put some thyme. All right, uh -oh. we are just about out of time. Okay. This should have been a two-parter, I, I think. Know. You're oh, sorry, awesome. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to spoon the sauce on the bottom of the plate, put the prawn, the uh, octopus, kind of spread it around, and that's There's it. And we're going to serve that with some crispy potatoes, or you can roast them, either way you like it. Is this on the menu every day, or is this We special? have octopus not like this, yeah. but we serve it on the menu. It's our bestseller. Thank you so I much. Know. I learned a lot this morning. All right. Thank you well, so thank much. Thank you all so much. Anytime you want. Thank you. All right, Sari, there. We'll be right, right. back.